Okay. Let's go. No talking. Okay. Annoying brat. Wow. Why are you in this job if you hate kids so much? You there, stop right there. I'm new here. Today's my first day. Your first day? At my school? And who, may I ask, said you could attend my school? Um, yesterday. Silence. Those without a reference letter aren't allowed in my school. Oh dear. Gotta get a reference letter, huh? No one gets in my school without a reference letter from the mayor. Ma, ah, from the mayor. Okay. Reference letter. You can get one from the mayor, of course. <laughs> Maybe you're the one who needs to go to school. Hey, now. Everyone's bullying me. Don't appreciate it. <laughs> Shouldn't you be off at school, Sam? Reference letter? How could you forget something like that, huh? Go on ahead then. Mayo should be up by now. But watch yourselves. That man's as testy as a tart in the morning. Not that he's any better in the afternoon. The mayor don't like to be bothered. I'd make myself scarce if I was you. Oh, it's still, still that guy saying the same thing. Stop right there. We came to get a reference letter from the mayor. Reference letter, huh? Hmm. Then I suppose it's fine. Okay. Holy cow, this house is huge. The mayor must be super rich. Who's there? Oh, it's John. How did you two get in? School. When did I ever say anything about going to school? Oh, this jerk. This jerk. What a jerk. Yesterday, at the dig site. A derelict child like you has no place in school. Everyone's so mean to Sam. And John. You must be mistaken. You wanted to see us, Mr. Mayor? Oh, little Sammy. What are you still doing here? Shouldn't you be at school? Don't tell me. You're playing hooky, aren't you? Didn't you promise you were going to listen to your teacher? Ain't no good to be breaking promises now. Truer words have never been spoken, my man. Those who break their word are sent hot skipping straight to eight straight to old Charon. Sorry. <laughs> Ain't that right, Mr. Mayor? Hmm. Ah, uh, um, yes, yes, of course. You should always, um, keep your word. Run along to school now, you adorable little chackanape. But I need a reference letter. Right, right, here you are. Don't lose it, or else you won't be able to get in. Obtained Mayor's reference letter. Imbeciles, blockheads, good-for-nothings. No one, and I repeat, no one is allowed to enter without my permission. Out of my sight. Damn, glad I'm not in there. Yeah, me too. And there's us done, our business done here. May it snatch me up for his... Uh, may it snatch me up as for his security detail just as soon as I graduated school. My job is to carry out his will. But sometimes... Sometimes I wonder just what it is I'm protecting. Yeah, you keep you keep ruminating on that, Captain Tiger, because you seem like an okay guy who's just doing a real crap job. Not like doing a bad job, but doing a job that is bad, you know what I mean? Not doing it poorly, it's just a shitty job to be doing. Ha, huh, what a loser, just like your old man. Loser. Oh no. Loser. Oh. Did I say you could look at me? If you don't want to be a loser, you'll go to the surface. Just like your crazy dad. Just like your crazy dad. The surface? You mean like the forbidden land? At the dig site? Exactly. And then he'll never come back. Ha ha ha. Stop that. 
Here comes another one, Granders. It's that kid John picked up off the street. No one wants her. What a weirdo. And look at that hair. Why is it all white? Ha ha ha. Just like an old hag. Old hag. Old hag. You shouldn't bully people. Yeah? And what are you going to do about it, huh? Grandis's uncle is the mayor. The mayor? Don't tell me you want to go to the service in his place, do you? Maybe I do. There's nothing scary up there. In fact, it's beautiful there. Clear blue skies, green grass. Who are you? I'm you, but Pinko. You'll find out. One day. Go now, your destiny awaits. So she's getting messages from somewhere. Who do you think you are, huh? Talking to me like that. You're nothing but a street rat. Street rat. Hey, listen up. Grandis is talking to you. What did you say? Huh, <laughs> whatever. Let's get out of here. You... you're not scared of them? Oh, Daniel. I'm sorry, buddy. Having a real hard time down here. I thought I told you, without a reference letter you can't... One reference letter, as requested. Hmm, not sure how you got this, but I suppose it will do. You better be smart, young lady, and don't cause me any trouble. Yeah, I'm going to school, John. A fight? Oh, you mean the mayor's niece. That girl's as sharp as a tack, you know. Best student in the school, yeah, I bet. It must be that other child's fault, William's son. I'm sure of it. Wow. I'm sorry, kid. Those three. Th they're terrifying. Oh, this kid. I, s I feel so sorry for this dang kid. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. Wandering about again, are we, John? You may as well go to the ranch if you've got nothing to do. Maybe. Maybe I will. School? Up the Oh, we've already talked to this lady. Okay. Alright, alright. Don't yell at me, please. Do my best out here. Directions are hard, you know. But first, I want to go get a drink. <laughs> But then, I heard wind. Yes, wind. You know what that means? Outside. The dig site may actually lead outside. Done already? Don't tell me. Sam wanted you to leave, did she? Kids. They all grow through that phase, you know? Wanting nothing to do with their folks. Nothing for it but to have a drink. What do you say? I heard little Sam started school today, that right? How's it feel being an empty nester? Little something to wet your whistle? Gotta celebrate. That face. That's the face of a father rejected by his kid. Oh, ouch. I just... It's okay. A little bit of emptiness syndrome, maybe, for, for John. Plus, it's his day off. He has nothing to do, you know? He can't go to the, the dig site, all of that stuff. Nothing to occupy his, his brain or his spare time. Also, if he's gonna drink, I'm gonna drink too. But not alcohol. I've just got a, a Coke here for myself. Sorry for the crispy noises. <laughs> but there we go. A nice little soda for me while he drinks. Don't let it get to you, John. It happens to everyone. Kids, they... They grow up, you know? Just like my Karota. She used to be such a sweet little thing. Now she doesn't want anything to do with me. Hey, watch it. You're getting snot all over my counter. <laughs> God damn, what a mess. Rise and shine! Oh, did we, did we have a nap on the counter? Yes, we did.
All right. Done already? Don't tell me. Sam wanted you to leave, did she? Oh no, it's okay. It's the same. It's the same message. It's the same thing. Okay, off we go. Had a nice little drinky. Um. All right, let's do. Just check what this guy says. You got time to kill? Plenty of options down here. But my advice? Have yourself a cold one. Okay. Well, we've done that. So I guess we'll go to the um, to the ranch, shall we? Now there's a mini game here. <laughs> Sorry for the slight spoilers, but there's a mini game here that I'm not very good at, and I'll apologise and oh, in advance for it. Oh, I don't think I've seen this scene before. Oh, we've already talked to this guy. Okay. If that wasn't the most terrifying experience I never want to have again. Really thought he was going to kill us this time. This is new to me, I haven't seen this. Not sure what made him so angry though. We didn't do nothing. It must have been you. Probably got your gnarly ass snot all over his furniture or something. Still don't know what I said wrong. Today sure turned out to be a crapper of a day. And you better not go anywhere near the mayor's house, you hear? Nothing and no one will be able to help you then. Nothing down here? Since we're just Roman? No. Okay. No more hidden treats for us here, I don't think. Okay, wrong place, let's go to the ranch. Oh wait, wait, before we do that... Ah. We can't afford any of this right now, so we don't- we only have one gear in the corner you can see there. So we might have to wait, I'm afraid. I mean, we can get the upgrades and- or not the upgrades, the other stuff, but I really want the upgrades, really. The other stuff I don't really need, it's just, uh... Stocking filler. Oh. Let's go to the shop. Real quick. Before we, uh... Before we go to the ranch. Let's go see if they're restocked, too. Yeah. Well, we can get a couple of backpack expansions, I think. Yeah. Congrats on the backpack. Another? Yeah. Nice. And, uh... Oh, let's get wild love, shall we? <laughs> Pancakes. Coffee. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Just, just for fun. Just for fun. Reading material is good. Uh, let's get some potatoes and eggs and one steamed peppercorn and one uh, sand root. And I guess we'll come back for the rest, when I've got more money. <laughs> and we'll empty him out. It's nice to have um, cooking materials available. Okay, we'll go on in here. Ah, oh, this game is so pretty. Even these gloomy, dark environments have such a beautiful illumination. The way they work with their light is really, really nice. You've been taking good care of my masterpiece, John? Yeah, of course. Our ranch is hiring. Interested in giving ranch work a try? Don't mind me, I ain't nothing but a useless bag of bones anyway. Not like I can be one of them diggers or nothing. That crazy about work, huh? How about it then? Try your hand at some good old fashioned ranch work? Sure. Fingers crossed I do okay here. <laughs> this is the minigame. I'm not very good at it. I'm really sorry for the frustration you're gonna feel watching me struggle here. Well, look at what we have here, a new face. Welcome to the Sunnyside Ranch. Pretty hot here, don't you think? That's because this here farm's right next to the ancient ruins. People say they're full of blister and hot steam. Youch. 
Not that you care, huh? Nah, you're here for the real star of the show. The heart and soul of our ranch. Pot crabs. <sighs> Hermit crabs with pots on them. Pot crabs. What, something wrong with their shells? Huh? Those aren't shells, those are pots. Get it? Pot crab? That's the key. We plant seeds for, seeds for sand roots inside the pots. Then we put the little pots on, stop, on top of the crabs. This makes the little suckers run around like crazy. The faster they run, the bigger the little seedies grow. And once our ten-legged friends can't run no more? Oh. Well, that's when you know the sand roots ready. These poor crabs. It may not look it, but this fruit's something else when it comes to sheer poundage. Especially that one there. Only our strongest-legged crabs can grow them red-leaved ones. After all said and done, we plunk the fruity tooties down in that there hole. And that's a wrap. Time to call it a day, boys. What happens to the pot crabs? Um, well, probably best you don't know. Oh. Oh, here we go. Ah, right in my way. There we go, there's one. Ah, missed again. Come on. Gotta line up right. There we go. Ah. It's a little twitchy on these corners here. I'm gonna try for the, one of these red ones, but I think it's gonna be kind of t uh, tricky. Ah. There we go. 30 seconds. Let's try the red one. Ah, I can't get it in the corner there. This one? Oh yeah, it barely moves. It barely moves. Forget it. I'm not going to bother trying to get a big score there. Out of that one. It's not worth it. There's one. Ah, uh, not quite. Please push it in. Please push it in. No. Ah, never mind. Not too bad though, 70's okay. <laughs> Nothing amazing. I'm pretty sure you get a really good score for the uh, red ones though. Don't let it get you down. You did pretty good for a newbie, you know. 20 sold. How salty. Are you talking about big eyes? His dad is that infamous fantasist, you know. I heard it from my mum. He claimed he'd been to the surface. He wanted everyone to move there with him. So the mayor sent him to Charon. Anyway, probably best not to associate with him. G give it back. Oh, he's being bullied again. This kid. He really went in there. W where is it? W where's my c coin? Ah. He's in trouble now. That's so mean. Stay out of it. They'll just bully you too. Yeah, just pretend you didn't see anything. We can't do that, can we? I better go check on her though. It's kind of worrying, right? It's kind of worrying. Doors open. Nothing of note in here. Twelve. Thirteen. I won. Ha ha ha. Oh man. Wrong again. He only snored eleven times yesterday. Did we win? That means we get to eat his lunchbox now, right? Hey, you cheated. That's not fair. We didn't say cheating wasn't allowed. Each of us gets half, yeah? Oh man. 
But I brought grilled crab legs today. They're my favourite. Oh, Park. It's not cheating. It's strategy. We get to eat Park's lunch. Sweet. Yeah, I kind of feel like this game is a little bit rigged against Park here. Uh, counting the snores of a guy who, if he gets it wrong, eats his lunch. Th the guy who snores is just going to snore the wrong number of times, right? He shouldn't have done that. He's brought quite the terrible fate upon himself. Okay, okay, okay. I don't see anything funny about this. I wouldn't get involved if I were you. You go up against the no-go trio and you'll live to regret it. Oh. Hey. Three tokens. Nice. You again, huh? Whatever. He's the one who wanted to go in there. Let's go. These kids are the worst. Children are awful. <laughs> John, what are you doing here? It doesn't matter. We've got to help Daniel. Well, not all of them, obviously. Sam and Daniel are precious. You're serious? You're actually going in there? They say a fire-breathing iron dragon lives beneath here. You should probably be careful. <laughs> yeah, I... I will. Oh, toilet? Just checking. Anything? Any prizes? Any shortcuts? Anything? Nope, just a nice toilet. Okay, the underground tunnel. Ah, steam. This this haze and the blue light. It's really pretty. It's so pretty. Oh, sorry, it pulled me again. And the characters so far are super precious. Even the jerks are kind of charming. Oop. Wow. Oops, I was not paying attention, sorry. <laughs> Off to a pretty bad start, wasting hearts like that. Oh. Luckily, they're pretty generous with their hearts so far, at least uh, early game-wise. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> Not doing my best right now. Let myself get whacked around. Oh, no, I don't think so, mate. Okay. Onwards with our two hearts. Oh. Turn that off, we can get through here. Oh, let's do up here too. Ah, found a heart orb. Collect three hearts fully restored. Oh, nice. Collect three more to get uh, an extra heart, it said. So that's cool. Oh, whoops. Immediately wasting those hearts they gave me.
And here, I found him. Daniel. Y you... How did you... Everything's gonna be okay. We're here to rescue you. What are they doing down there? You don't think something happened, do you? Maybe they ran into the Iron Dragon. May God have mercy on their souls. Don't say things like that. Sam will make it up for sure. Besides, she's got old Stash with her. We made it. Come on. Y you saved me. Th th thank you. Ta-da! Sam, you're okay. What happened down there? Big eyes just took off like a light. You guys got guts to go down in that hole. So, was there really an iron dragon down there? Sam, never do anything like that again, you hear me? Oh, they, they're just trying to look out for her. But she's kind of just innately heroic. Sorry, guys, it's just the way she is. <laughs> she's a good kid. Nothing else in here still. All right, away we go. There he is, hiding behind the pillar. Last bottle. Okay, that's it for today. Mm. Dinner's ready. Where is that boy? the bell. Wrap it up, folks. Work's done for the day. Finally done. Man, I'm jealous of John. Yeah, but isn't that, isn't what's beneath the school even more dangerous than the dig site? <laughs> oh, I guess word travels fast in this game. <laughs>